Hello YouTube and welcome to this channel. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use the electrostatic simulator to uh, calculate the capacitance of a very simple planar or planar capacitor. Um, I'm showing you here a very simple planar capacitor with like three, diam three parameters epsilon and naught uh, which can be epsilon naught or epsilon r times epsilon naught depending on the di uh, dielectric material that we are using uh, as shown in the figure and we have a bottom plate and a top plate uh, like mainly copper or aluminium and um, also we have the the distance between these two plates D and the area of these plates which is A so basically lower the distance bigger the A you have larger capacitor that's how we have super caps or like batteries that basically basically made of this wrapped uh, A and very very small D and where we have uh, lithium ion uh, for example batteries same thing idea is the same the same capacitor but with a slightly different uh, manner so in this simulation I'm going to go uh, and use the D of 1 millimeter and A of 30 millimeters by 30 millimeters if you uh, hook up the numbers you will get uh, C equals 7.96 picofarad. Let's see if the simulation result is giving us the same result. Okay, over here I have a plain uh, Maxwell version 15 uh, 3D design and uh, I'm going to first right click on the 3D design and call it a planar capacitor or cap and um, I'm going to make sure that the Maxwell 3D section on the, sol on the solution type I'm selecting electrostatic again one more time we have magnetostatic for calculating inductances eddy current for calculating the basically uh, adding the eddy current effect into the magnetostatic and transient current under the magnetic uh, solution to basically calculate I and B and H and over the electric we have electrostatic which is the equivalent of magnetostatic and calculating the V and E and it's used to give you the result of the capacitance uh, same we have the DC conductions and uh, in the DC conductance we can basically just care about like the DC conduction path and you have electric uh, electric transient we will uh, get into that later so first uh, select the electrostatic and press OK on this now I'm gonna play in the uh, the design basically the planes and uh, I'm gonna start with the uh, lower design lower plane basically so first thing we want to do is we want to click the box and uh, put the following numbers um, I'm gonna put a zero uh, zero zero for the very first uh, point of the box and uh, select um, also zero for the Z so that would be the very base of our box and then on when it comes to the DX, DY and DZ I'm gonna go and uh, basically select 20, uh, 30 actually here 30 millimeters for the DX 30 millimeters for the DY and for the thickness of the plate I'm gonna put uh, let's say 2 millimeters here okay and that will give us the box I'm gonna call it uh, lower uh, plane lower P okay um, the material here is, is going to be uh, PEC which is perfect conductor um, uh, just because um, it's easier to calculate when we have uh, the perfect conductor here so uh, I'm gonna use this uh, PEC or here although we have a perfect conductor and the same name here it doesn't doesn't matter it shows the same uh, material conductivity so let's just go with this and um, the color I'm gonna just put a distinguished color for that red and uh, maybe the transparency is gonna be this much if you guys are seeing another transparency is because I set the default transparency to 85 that's why I each time get 85 uh, transparency I show you how it works in uh, the chapter one so you can go back and check out those tutorials uh, let me go and make it bigger so that's what we have here and I'm gonna go and put the dielectric material which is made of the vacuum so I'm gonna go and select the uh, corner again so this time I'm going to make sure that the, the, the center is zero zero 
but then the Z is 2 since we came up to uh, unit up millimeter and the DX DY it would be exactly the same here I'm gonna have one for the thickness of the diameter and again the same uh, 30 millimeters for the DX DY and I'm gonna call this one dielectric Uh, made of the vacuum sure and uh, we can just make it slightly lower and the color blue is pretty good sure let's go with this um, one last thing that you want to do is again um, I'm gonna go zero zero this time as you guess three for the Z and um, I guess uh, uh, DZ of two it should be okay and then again 30 and 30 pressing OK and this would be the upper plane and uh, um, I'm gonna go with this and again I'm gonna go with the perfect uh, conductor so let's just uh, hold on to that and pressing OK so everything is fine and we have our cake here and that looks like this now um, this will basically conclude the modeling this uh, simple capacitor on the next tutorial I'm gonna show you how to do the assignment and the setup thanks for watching